We found bridesmaids dresses that don't suck. First of all, 25 colors, I'm sorry, what? If you were walking down the aisle in this, you know you'd be like, working it. <laughs> we have got to put an end to bad bridesmaids dresses. It's that time of year again, when you wanna support the people you love, your best friends, your sister, your cousin, and you are getting ready to help them with the most special day of the year, and you look down and you're like, ugh, ah! I look terrible in this bridesmaid's dress. <laughs> Why are they always so bad? They're so bad. Uh, listen, listen, they're so bad. And you, I've also, no offense, I've been at weddings and looked at bridesmaid's dresses and been like, Damn. Sure. And it's not <laughs> anybody's fault. I just think yeah, that. <laughs> okay, open. <laughs> we have got to put an end to bad bridesmaids' dresses, okay? Yeah. It is time to draw a line in the sand and say, these are the dresses we should be buying, and these ones should go in the trash. Trash, trash, burn them. And we're going to actually try on dresses that you would actually want to wear, mm -hmm. that you might actually want to wear again, right. and that we love. So we each picked a dress that we all thought were soups cute and mm -hmm. thought maybe would be the most flattering. And then we also went to Instagram and asked you guys what dresses you wanted to see us in. And so you're gonna have to stick around to the wild card round because we are gonna wear one of your choosing dresses. Mm -hmm. And the best part about our picks is that you can shop them right now, right here. Just go to the products label tab and get your hands on them, you guys. And I think it's safe to say all of these dresses are dresses that can be applied to multiple occasions. Totally. But you're also gonna look banging in your bridesmaid's dress. You ready? The dress I picked is from Reformation. It is the Senna dress. It is sleeveless, it's a midi dress with a high side slit, and it's also got a crew neck. There's ruching at the bust, which gives a little more of a fancy schmancy look, and also it gives you a little bit shape in the areas where you might want it. Now, it will set you back $348, and it comes in one color and one pattern, and it's available in sizes zero through 12. So when I was first looking for bridesmaids dresses, I just was really trying to look for flattering because if I were a bride, that would be my biggest stress, right? I would want all my girls to feel hot and sexy. And if you are one of those traditional brides that wants all your bridesmaids in the exact same dress, that is so hard. Mm -hmm. So I found this dress, it's a high neck, which I always think is extremely sophisticated and chic. Yes. And then with a nice long slit, adds that little bit of sexy sex appeal. The material is also not satin, which I just hate to say it, satin is not a flattering material. So true. Uh -oh. <laughs> Difference of opinion. <laughs> In terms of having something that's a little bit more fitted, it's always better to go with a slightly different material than satin. I also like the ruching. I think that this was the type of dress where I was like, oh, I could totally see this like being dolled all the way up too. Like if you were to wear like jewels and whatever, you could wear this like evening gown as well. Like I just think it's really nice. Like it's flattering. I feel like on the hanger it didn't do it justice. It did it. I actually I prefer it a lot on. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think the ruching really did like suck me in, and I love this slit because it kind yeah. of. I feel like if nice. you're gonna have a high neck, the slit is that perfect. Back. Right, right. I mean, I don't spend over like $150 on a dress, but I could wear, I could see us wearing this again to another wedding. Totally. Yeah. Like, yeah. like this doesn't feel like a lost cause one time $400 no. type dress. Now that I'm getting older, like this is double lined. It's mm -hmm. very nice material. Mm -hmm. I can see this lasting a long time, multiple weddings. I'm a fan, Sinead. Yeah. Very classic, very chic. Mm -hmm. I also really appreciate the length of the dress because sometimes, you know, if you're taller, dresses will hit you like right at your ankle and it's mm -hmm. really annoying. So I feel like because of the price, like that's what you're paying for, yeah. you know? I also mm -hmm. love navy though. It's definitely one of my favorite yeah, colors. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But again, I think it's a very flattering color on everybody, and I do think it's very sophisticated. It's very yeah. sophisticated. I see. Based on my previous experience as a bridesmaid, I always have two things. One, make sure you have the right boob equipment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this Important. dress, when you are walking, you know, into a ceremony, all eyes are on you. Make sure you've got everything taken care of. And also you wanna be comfortable for dancing later on. Mm -hmm. And you also wanna feel secure and not have to worry about your boobs, okay? Totally. Second thing is if you are in a wedding where you are wearing a bridesmaid's dress that you just don't like, um, one, find a good tailor or like an alterations place that can hopefully nip and tuck and do little things with the dress to make you feel that you're sexiest possible. Mm -hmm. And if you're so excited to get rid of that freaking thing after the ceremony still, please put that up on the website for people to be able to buy secondhand because yeah, we could all 
save a coin here or there with bridesmaid stresses. Or find a barn fire. <laughs> she was joking. Okay, so my pick is from House of CB. This is the Stefani black corset maxi dress. It's $255 and what I really love with House of CB is that after you pick your size, you can dictate whether you want a regular cup, meaning A through C, or a bigger cup, D through E, which my big boobed but girlies really appreciate. <laughs> there's also this dope boning to cinch your waist in and there's these lace trimmed cups that are super pretty and of course an underwire for full support and uplift of the girls. I picked this number because I think of my wedding when I get married, I know for sure I want my bridesmaids just to look like baddies. Mm -hmm. Like I just want everybody mm -hmm. to look sexy mm -hmm. and hot mm -hmm. and feel good. And I found this dress and I was like, done, done. Well, that was easy. What I like about this is that you could totally wear this not as a bridesmaid's yeah. dress, but I'm like, it's long, it's black, formal bridesmaid's dress, yeah. it mm -hmm. works, you know? And I love the fact that your waist is cinched and your boobs are cupped, which I feel like House of CB, that's like their signature. Right. And I feel like you would be comfortable all night. We were laughing because you can't really like <laughs> run. It's, <laughs> it's the way you did that. <laughs> it's tight around like your calf area, but you know, you can still, you can, you can move and you can groove. Bop. It's you can that groove. limiting, because there is that back slit. Yeah. But it's not, you can't run away. You no. just have to hike it up if you want to be a runaway bridesmaid. That's yeah. all. Yeah. I mean, yeah. 255, yes, it is expensive, but for a bridesmaid's dress, it's pretty normal, actually. I'm actually shocked that it's not more than that because yeah. I feel like a lot of their midi dresses range around 255, so the right. fact that this is a maxi for that is good. I feel so cute in this. It's thick material, so I don't mm -hmm. feel like I'm on display mm -hmm. and like, ooh, they can like see every like inch of my body. Um, I did get some great like push-up stickies in the back and it yeah. really just like filled my girls out because I was feeling cupless. Um, good. I really like this dress, Drew. Yeah, I really like it too. Mm -hmm. This is nice. You this would totally nice. wear this again, you know? Yes. Yeah. Red carpet. Yeah. The yeah. president's If dinner. I was a bridesmaid. <laughs> The boobs yes. are on display, so it depends on how cool your bride is with your boobs. Yeah, but. that's true. Because yeah. a lot of brides aren't comfortable with that, or if, like if you're having a traditional like church ceremony. Church wedding. Like, the fishy. priest is like fishy. looking up here as the bridesmaids come down the aisle. He's looking up here. And you know? also, like if you're walking down the aisle in this, you know you'd be like, working it. <laughs> I start walking back. <laughs> oh my god, bro. You know, you can get out of the game. My grandpa. Whose wedding is this? It's hilarious. My tips if you're going to be a bridesmaid for sure bring a steamer. Yeah. Because oh. I don't care what the material is, somehow in your luggage getting you from point A to point B, mm -hmm. it's gonna get wrinkly and crinkly. So mm -hmm. right before, and it also helps the other bridesmaids if they need something steamed, just have that puppy ready to go. Oh my God, great tip. My choice was the Caputo midi dress from the Lovers and Friends brand. You can actually get it at Revolve. It's this really pretty blush pink color. It's fully lined, has a hidden zipper inside. It's a halter dress, asymmetric hem, ruched on the side. Really cute. And it goes for $228. Okay, you guys, I went for the sort of shorter midi. This is maybe more of a spring bridesmaid. Um, I definitely am getting a Maryland vibe from the way that mm -hmm. this is a halter, but it's super thick and it has that vintage sort of strap. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of now into this blush against like, I don't know, I feel really fair, but it, there's something really like feminine and mm -hmm. girly about it. I like okay. it. it. It's doing a rouging on the stomach, which always makes me personally just like feel more confident. Yeah. Um, it's adjustable, like you can tie the halter higher, lower, lift the girls, lower the girls. I'm doing a sticky boob and I'm not sure how I feel about it. I almost probably would just go braless if I was to live it up. Yeah, and I like it. I, I definitely feel the retro vibes for sure. Okay. I am going braless. I would for sure, um, if I was wearing this, would do a boob tape. But because it's so thick, Yeah. 
I feel like if I were to wear a boob tape, you would be able to hide it, don't you yeah. think? Yeah, especially, it is thick. Es yeah, especially if you cut, you know, if you want yeah, to cut them down a little bit, make them thinner. Yeah, I usually steer clear of halters just because it's always a boob issue. Good mm -hmm. to know. But I feel fine in this, and yeah, like you could totally hide tape with these straps. Yeah. See, I would think with you because your boobs are so like gorgeous. Shush. Like I would love a halter because I'd be like, oh my side, side boob. boob. Oh. But I'm like a peripheral observer. It's probably not as comfortable. No, I then. love a side yeah. boob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I think it just, it's just like doesn't boob. feel as comfortable. Yes. I feel yeah. like something's gonna come out for mm. sure. Oh, that's hot. But there. that's so hot. Can Coming down the aisle well. on the that side. <laughs> Grandma and Grandpa on hands, the side. Hands, are like, like, come down like this. Yeah. Yeah. Cover your eyes. And right. this this type of dress, I mean, as much as you kind of go, oh, well, if it's a longer dress, more material, more expensive, but this kind, I'd almost pay more for because I could wear it a lot more than a long mm. dress. Like, you could oh, wear yeah. this to a baby shower, a bridal shower, and a summer party, a barbecue. Like, yeah. there's kind of yeah. even more options to wear it, I don't know. Mm -hmm. the, the president's dinner, I don't know. <laughs> uh, my tip is that if anyone asks you to be a bridesmaid, just say no. <laughs> for one thing, I saved you some money. This next dress is our wild card. This is a dress that you guys actually suggested we try, and it is from the Desi Group. And it is $139. It comes in extra, extra small through 5X for special orders, and you can buy it right away, extra small through extra large. There are 25 colors. Now, we are wearing the desert rose, the sky blue, and the olive green. It's got a center back zip. They have a three inch extra length available as well for our tall girlies. It's fully lined, you can dry clean this, and it also has adjustable straps and an A-line skirt with a very sexy slit. Okay, so first of all, 25 colors, I'm sorry, what? That's yeah. a lot. That is amazing. Yeah. yeah. And honestly, I really like the colors. This blush yeah. is a color I've seen a billion times, but as soon as I saw Drew and Madeline's colors, I was like, wow, I love this blue. I love, I love this green. Um, so nice. I will say, the first thing that stuck out to me was just like how soft and smooth it is. Mm -hmm. And I do really like the silhouette. I just think there's a couple of things that are a bit ill-fitting that I definitely would have to get tailored. I agree, yeah. And another thing is this, this lighter satin material in my head just isn't as flattering. Even if you had like a full on freaking six pack today, like okay. this material does tend to show a lot, but I don't hate it. Like this loose top is kind of interesting. It's mm -hmm. like this cowl neck. It's adjustable straps, which is really great. Mm -hmm. Mine is almost a size bigger, but I think it's giving me like a flow that I'm kind of feeling. This color is to die for. The co I all of that color and all of the ones that you guys picked out for us, I think are so pretty. Yeah. I agree, I don't really like the way it fits me, but if with some tailoring, I think you yeah. would be fine. Mm -hmm. And it's more of like the traditional classic bridesmaid dress. Yes. yes. That's cute. It'd be really cute if you had your bridesmaids, because I've never seen this done, each have this dress in a different color, mm, but it's yeah. the same silhouette. Like, that'd be cool too. Yeah. So I pretty. feel like we're like, fairies of the different elements, yeah. like water, earth, and fire. Yes. You know, and like this is when we become human that are like our full size, mm -hmm. but when we also shrink into like little, yeah. little fairies. Yeah, we're like I thought you were gonna say like water, earth, and unicorns. <laughs> <laughs> Almost, but not quite, little lady. Go into the chapel and we're gonna get married. Go, I really love you and we're gonna get married. <laughs> 